And now it is my true pleasure to introduce our next speaker who has earned the honor of being our CASB Class of 2022 Valedictorian. Each year, the honor of valedictorian is bestowed based on outstanding academic performance in both major coursework and all undergraduate coursework. Please welcome the valedictorian for the class of 2022, Philip Lee. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Thank you very much for the honor of allowing me to speak with you today. I'd like to start off by sharing about one of my favorite classes I took here at UCLA. During my freshman year, I took a class on Egyptology. And the culminating project for this class was to create a podcast with a group of a few other students. The podcast assignment required us to select a well-known topic from ancient Egypt and then explain how its meaning changed over time. To complete this project, not only do we have to perform extensive research on our topic and perform interviews with graduate students, we also had to learn how to work with professional recording equipment and audio editing software. This turned out to be an incredibly time-consuming and labor-intensive project, but it was also one of the most satisfying projects that I've ever worked on. It gave us the opportunity to connect with experts from many different fields, and our final product felt like a combined effort of a huge group of people. Working on this project showed me that there's enormous potential in collaborating with people with different backgrounds, ideas, and passions. Here at UCLA, our strength lies in their diversity. Our diversity allows us to see multiple perspectives on the same issue, and it drives us to think about options that we might not have considered before. The scale and complexity of the problems we face today are enormous. Issues like climate change, global pandemics, gun violence, these problems affect not only us, but also the future generation, and cannot be easily solved overnight. Instead, they require the efforts of countless people, each bringing their own unique skills and insights. I believe that the Computational and Systems Biology program is a perfect example of the application of these ideas. Our program is interdisciplinary in nature, requiring us to be proficient not only in the life sciences, but also in mathematics, statistics, and computer science. Perhaps the greatest benefit of an interdisciplinary program is that it brings together scientists from a wide variety of fields, which encourages problem solving from new angles. For students, this meant that we were instantly connected with an incredibly diverse array of faculty. It also meant that I got to see how the same question was approached from different disciplines. For example, in our life science courses, we learned about biological assays for sequencing the human transcriptome. In our computer science courses, we built graphs and spent hours fine-tuning algorithms to process and align sequencing data as fast as possible. Finally, in our statistics courses, we learned about multiple hypothesis testing and ways to reduce false discoveries in order to identify differentially expressed genes. This is just one of the many examples of questions that require an interdisciplinary background to answer. As CASB graduates, we now have the knowledge and skills needed to communicate with and connect people from these varying fields in order to solve previously intractable problems. Enormous advances have been made in each of these fields individually, but the future lies at the intersection of these disciplines. Our professors not only share their many years of expertise with us, but they also show us the passion and excitement they have for their work, inspiring us to pursue our own research questions and interests. During this past quarter, I've had the pleasure of hearing about the projects conducted by my fellow classmates during our research communications class. From deducing factors that influence our epigenetic age, to creating dynamical models of complex cell signaling pathways, to applying machine learning techniques to medical imaging data, to evaluating new methodologies for diagnosing mental disorders, I was amazed at the incredible breadth of research that was being undertaken and it's clear to me that our program has some of the most dedicated and creative students at UCLA. Running a program as complex as ours requires a tremendous amount of coordination, and none of this would be possible without the hard work of our amazing advising team, Annalise, Eileen, and Jacqueline. Even through all the difficult transitions from in-person to remote and then back to in-person, 
They made sure that I always had access to advising, and we kept everything running smoothly behind the scenes. After today, we'll all be starting on new journeys. Some of us will be going into industry. Others will be starting graduate programs or medical school. And some of us will be doing something completely different. Wherever our journeys take us, I'm confident that the skills and connections we've made at UCLA have prepared us to be leaders in each of our respective fields. We are ready to tackle challenging problems and apply our skills to change the world for the better. I'd like to leave you all with a quote. This quote is from my favorite television show, Star Trek The Space Nine. <laughs> and for context, this is a line from Commander Benjamin Sisko, and he's explaining the nature of human existence to new alien species. It is the unknown that defines our existence. We are constantly searching, not just for answers to our questions, but for new questions. We are explorers. We explore our lives day by day, and we explore the galaxy trying to expand the boundaries of our knowledge. And that is why I'm here, not to conquer you with weapons or with ideas, but to coexist and learn. Congratulations to the class of 2020, 2021, and 2022. I look forward to seeing what you accomplish next. Go Bruins.